explain why it makes for the most interesting alternate history scenarios. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm glad I. I'm glad yeah, I. Yeah, we got, kind of got your favorite thing. So. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I'm just. That's my default. I'm just gonna. If I have nothing to make. I'll just be like, I want to do a geography video. It's fun. Uh, <laughs> All right. Uh, 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 do you want me to go first or I think we're back to you. Yeah. Yeah. Back sure. to me. You, okay, you... cool. So yeah, uh geography alternate history is just my absolute favorite to do. Uh and like I said, it's my default that I go to whenever I don't know what to make a video about. Because geography affects everything in our lives. It affects our climate, it affects uh the food we grow, it affects the how cultures spread, and affects how people develop, how civilizations develop. Um simply removing or changing a lake can change an entire culture um say you removed the mediterranean from uh just <laughs> geography it would wipe out the basically all of europe uh say you would change the sahara to green and then it would make uh you would have this whole expanse of land that's nothing but grassland uh disconnect the americas and remove panama just that small little area and you change the interchange of uh animals and the spread of uh and spread of uh biodiversity uh geography changing affects everything it's the most global Done. effect you can do yeah hmm. <laughs> uh you want to go gorgie okay. sure um throughout history battles is the thing that mm, people and chroniclers have been obsessed with and today in YouTube battles are the thing that brings in pro arguably the most views. So there is something about them, that confrontation, that clash of worlds on a smaller or bigger level that captures the imagination. And when you are, you know, playing around with them in alternative history scenarios, it can lead to some really, really cool things. Battles are the perfect bite-sized chunk that can make for a great scenario because they are important enough, but also easy enough to follow there are geographic elements in those battles when you're changing you have to keep them in mind like everything everything that craig mentioned as the options there's a little bit of it in the battle option but it's digestible with with changing battles people can follow it there's everyone can be involved people who like culture are involved because of the culture aftermath and people who like tactics are involved because they like tactics whereas with the other choices you will alienate some people and they'll be bored done all right. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna sw I'm gonna swing for the fences on this one. All right. <laughs> Just thought yeah. some funny stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is the most important, no matter what, because apparently, if Sir Winston Churchill is killed, Nazi Germany just wins World War II. Because Man in the High Castle is the Bible, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> you know, if Arc du Ferdinand, if he wasn't killed, he's the sole reason World War One occurs apparently to a lot of people for some reason <laughs> if abraham lincoln was you know wasn't killed he would make everything good just because he was abraham lincoln so it's incredible how like the death of somebody just causes such unbelievable ramifications alexander the great kind of assassinated maybe himself with alcohol i don't know like it could have been somebody we don't know actually and then all his generals just broke up the freaking world and made all these empires that would last and then fight each other and screw up everything. Genghis Khan. Maybe he was assassinated by that uh, second wife, I think it was. Maybe he would have lasted longer. Maybe he could have killed even more people. And that would have been a world that Corgi would have liked. <laughs> no! <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I'm going to continue. But yeah. Genghis! Genghis! Genghis. <laughs> great man theory is strong and well. And everyone still <laughs> believes in it because it's the only way to look at history. Nothing else makes sense in this world. There isn't independent variables. There's just one dependent variable. <laughs> and it's always a male. It's never a woman for some reason. And uh, it's the most significant thing that causes such unbelievable stuff. Done. <laughs> Me and Cody had great arguments. We were on the track. And then I just we completely it. Yeah. Yeah. joke of it. Woo! This is why great man history is real and it's permanent. <laughs> I can't stop it. I just went down um, the path of all the all worst right, things. Destroy us, Cody. Yeah. Just destroy us. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, you have your great man history and you have that. But what I'm saying is you can't have a great man without a great island. 
a Great Britain. <laughs> if Britain wasn't an island, then it wouldn't have the navy that it, it to spread across the world. It would simply be a peninsula, one of the various peninsulas in Europe. Why make even Europe a peninsula? If it wasn't a peninsula and just connected to the rest of Africa and Asia, it would be it would completely change its history. Um, why even have the <laughs> americas exist if the americas didn't exist then your great man columbus would just have died in the middle of the atlantic because the world was bigger than he thought it was so or the world you know this reasons for columbus if he wasn't going to reach asia that's what i'm going to say but um and what if hey what if asia was as big as he thought it was and then he lands in japan that would have changed everything too anyway you're all wrong that's my point <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> okay hmm. i would still try to make some sort of an argument and uh try to keep it straight because well on one hand we have geography is destiny and it's the most important thing in the world on the other hand we have the great man theory not really gonna give that much of a response it's really we all know it's flawed right? it, it's fun to 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 think about but it's too small scale like we're talking about one person it's unpredictable you don't know who's going to take their place or what exactly is going to happen uh it's somehow on a small scale and yet unreliable and there's too many variables and too many unknowns with changing geography like changing the mediterranean or deleting things or adding things uh including half the world circumference apparently there's <laughs> no way you can accurately depict like thought experiments are good but when they're tangible and when they can teach us something and i'm not saying there's no merit in geography not at all and and i do believe geography is incredibly important and by the way there are peninsulas that have incredible navies like greece did but that's beside the point the main point is that the perfect balance of everything you're talking about is just changing the outcomes of battles because they affect everything um, no i'll try to be more serious <laughs> okay yeah we'll, 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 no, we'll no, no. i'm gonna try and be more serious while i tackle you guys down all right so you use you use the word tangible and yeah just putting a continent in the pacific ocean is the most unrealistic thing like how could we possibly figure out what happens i mean it changes far too much as for battles who fights those battles people if certain people aren't there those battles will change so my thing does change your thing quite a bit too alexander the great could have lived longer it would have dramatically changed hellenization he would have done a lot more julius caesar he wasn't assassinated my god what happens to the entire history of the roman empire is cleopatra a queen is that kid that she had the, like the next caesar what it's going to be nuts if genghis khan lived longer what is he going to do how far is he going to get if his offspring like didn't die of alcoholism kind of like alexander kind of ironically didn't die at that certain time they might have gone right through europe it's a lot of things that could have happened that could have changed simply because one great man was assassinated <laughs> Or not. Done. <laughs> um, Are can you I do one alcohol I, I, an assassin? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> uh, Cody, Sorry, what was that, Cody? I, I, I can try to do one. I'll try to do one serious one. All right. But, just one. Sure. Uh, sure. So, I guess, so geography, um, yes, battles and assassinations do affect human history, um, but geography affects everything history. Your battle will be done on a plane or in a forest or somewhere that is affected by the climate and just simply where the land is located. Um, and your assassinations will occur because of political reasons of, you know, everything happens on the land that it's on. Um, but geography, going back to what you're saying with Greece and a peninsula, sure, if Britain was a peninsula, it might have a good uh, navy. But if it was Doggerland, like it was 10,000 years ago, that is not just a peninsula. That is a massive landmass that would uh, pretty much encompass Ireland to Denmark. And that has only existed for the last 10,000 years. So geography really does affect everything of alternate history. And it's a little bit cheating having this be my point because it's like, of course, it changes everything. If you made, if you made something a desert, of course, a city wouldn't be there anymore. Um, but <laughs> I get more extra time. I wanted to hear it. Uh, but yeah, that's, I mean, it's kind of like, there's nothing to even really argue about. Cause it's just so broad. It's, 
It's like, yeah, if that mountain didn't exist, it sure would change a lot. Yeah. Which <laughs> one of ours is the best way to eliminate France? <laughs> Probably uh oh oh i got it eliminate i i mean if, the if we did do or the alps pretty much and yeah it's done. just re yeah remove the pyrenees and alps and then 